What's up everyone? This is Taiwan Hubbard with H2 Hub and we're here to do a demonstration video for the VH600. This system is offered or manufactured by VH Life. Uh, this system has passed all of our performance standards and we, re we are recommending this system to the public. Uh, in this video, we wanted to do a demonstration of the actual system. This is a two-in-one hydrogen generator or hydrogen system. Uh, it, it, all, uh, it provides hydrogen for hydrogen inhalation and it also produces hydrogen rich water. Uh, it's very rare to actually find a legitimate dual function uh, hydrogen system, uh, but uh, VH Life has uh, offered one and they have produced an awesome system. And so we want to go ahead and demonstrate it in this video and show you some of its functionality and how it works. Uh, and then at the end of the video, uh, we'll go ahead and give some more details about how you can acquire this through Issue Hub and get a significant discount. All right, let's go. Okay, so first things first, I wanna go ahead and show you all the components and the important aspects of the system. Uh, number one, uh, this is not how it comes to you, your home. Um, I have it all completely put together, uh, but since we weren't able to do an unboxing video for this particular unit, um, I'll go ahead and show you uh, how that uh, works. So um, first things first, I wanna go ahead and turn this around so you can see what the backside looks like. All right, so here you have your master switch, um, and uh, this is your power output um, or power socket, and then this will be uh, your water drain port, and uh, this right here is the actual um, latch for connecting uh, what is called the water cube to the hydrogen cube. So this section is where hydrogen is produced, and this section is where hydrogen water is made. To disconnect it, you actually push this button, and you are able to slide the water cube off, just like that. And so what I'm gonna end up doing is, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around again, and I'm gonna disconnect it and show you the inside. All right, so um, this is the hydrogen connection and this is the computer connection. Uh, it allows for uh, the water cube to connect to the hydrogen cube uh, and they connect right to these two slots. And so it's very simplistic, it's not difficult to use. Um, and those are, like I'll show you right here, you can just slide them together and get it matched up and then you just click them in. Now it's connected. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and plug it in. Uh, when you plug it in uh, with, with the power cord, um, which I have back here, by the way, you plug it in with the power cord. The first thing you'll notice is uh, is going to um, alert you that there is a uh, low water. So uh, let's go ahead and show you uh, the actual front panel and what it actually means. All right, so this is the actual front panel. Uh, and uh, I want you to take notice of this area here. This is called the operating ring or the standby operating ring. Uh, it is uh, the important area on the front panel uh, it gives you all your indicator lights. Uh, right now, you will see that uh, the water indicator light is on. Uh, that means that water needs to be added to the actual uh, distilled water tank for producing hydrogen gas. Uh, here is your indicator light for temperature. This will notify you if the uh, system is overheating or gets too hot. Uh, this filter uh, indicator light, if it's activated, um, it lets you know that the internal filter um, that goes into the water tank here uh, needs to be replaced. And then blocking uh, is a indicator light that will let you know if the system's um, gas flow is being blocked, uh, generally by a kink in the actual nasal cannula. Uh, right here is the on-off power button. And this is the reset button for resetting your filter. So after six months, uh, you'll have to add a new filter and uh, there is a whole process within the manual that explains how to reset your filter by holding this button down. And so this is all the important components on the front panel. Uh, and 
this right here is the actual um, water water reservoir for distilled water. Uh, and this is the lid. You would pop this open and to fill it up. And this is the filter that comes with the system. Now, as I said, we weren't able to do an unboxing video for this. So uh, I've already set this system up. And so next, we what we're gonna do is uh, fill this up with the water to the water level that is needed. All right, so as you can see, this is the filter that I placed in here. And at the bottom of that filter, you actually see there is a grate. So um, this system requires uh, distilled water. Um, it is a pure H2 system. And so I'm gonna fill it up with distilled water and you wanna fill it up until the system um, has accepted enough water that there is a little bit of water right over top of the actual grate that's down there with the two Fs. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. The system will also notify you when it's accepted enough water. There it goes. All right, so let's see the water level. All right, as you can see, I shake it a little bit. There's a little bit of water right over the top of the filter grate. That is right where you want to fill the water up. And you can see that the operating ring has lit up green. This is lets you know that it's in standby and the system is ready to use. So let me go ahead and close this and we'll move on to the next step. All right, the next component I want to demonstrate to you is the protection lid, or this is also can be considered like the side panel. Uh, this is a latch that opens and is held together by a magnet. Uh, and inside this um, is uh, basically where all the magic happens, but uh, this is the hydrogen outlet. Uh, this is where you would connect uh, your, your two-way tube that comes with the system. You connect that to your water collector. Um, this collects the moisture that travels with the hydrogen gas. I'll go ahead and show you that after I get done talking about the components. This is your actual adjustment knob. It allows you to direct the hydrogen gas either for H2 for breathing or it directs the gas to the water cube um, for producing hydrogen rich water. So this system does not allow you to do it simultaneously, um, but it does allow you to switch uh, from one to the other uh, very rapidly and easily. And uh, you can produce hydrogen water within two to four minutes and then switch it back over to breathing and be good to go. So uh, this, is what, this is what this section is, and this is uh, the actual knob itself. So I'll turn it back over to hydrogen for breathing. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect this. You connect it to one of these ports, and then this connects to the hydrogen output port. So I'll connect it to the hydrogen output port. Just like that. And you, when um, you breathe in, it'll sit up more straight like this, how you would want it. All right, so let's go ahead and turn the system on and show you what stuff looks like. So let's go ahead and turn the system on. And you do that by pushing the button. And when it turns on, it will, um, the operation ring will turn blue. Um, it will emit a blue light uh, that lets you know that the system is producing hydrogen gas and is running as normal. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the system off and I will show you how uh, you can select um, your hydrogen session. So this system, um, by default, when you turn the system on, is going uh, to run for two hours and then automatically turn off. But the system uh, actually allows you to do hydrogen, um, hydrogen inhalation uh, for either one hour, two hours, four hours, or eight hours. To begin to change the inhalation time frames uh, for this system, you wanna hold the power button down 
and then you press the reset button, you click it to cycle through. So when you hold this down and you press it one time, now it that's at two hours. The next time you click it, that's at four hours, and it's gonna and it's gonna change with the brightness as you see. Um, and the next would be eight hours. So now the system will run for eight hours uh, before it automatically shuts off. So this is an awesome function with this system. It allows you to set how long you want to breathe. Uh, and um, by default, when it comes to your home, it will be set at two hours. So, and then, and then the last would be at the dimmest is one hour. So as it goes up in its brightness, um, the, it'll be the longer the inhalation session. Uh, so we can do it again one more time through. This is one hour. This would be two hours. That'll be four hours. And this is eight hours. All right, so the final step for the H cube side, side of the system would be to connect the cannula and just turn the system on for breathing. So um, I have a nasal cannula here. And so I'm going to go ahead and connect it to this other side, this other port on the water collector. And then you connect your nasal cannula, just like so. And you would just push the power button. So now you're able to breathe hydrogen gas uh, with this system. So what's next would be to show you how the water cube works. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so the water cube is rather simple to use. It is not a difficult device. Uh, first of all, uh, the first thing I want to show you is the power button. This serves as uh, the power button or activation button, but it also um, initiates a two minute cycle. So uh, it will produce hydrogen water for two minutes and then automatically shut off. If you want to activate it again, all you do is push the button again and it'll activate it for another two minutes. Uh, this part of the system is actually a pitcher. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and show you it's a pitcher. Oh, has some water in there. It actually holds about 1.2 liters of water at its maximum level on here, but this pitcher itself can be filled up to about 1.5 liters of water. We've done that a number of times and it works works fine. Uh, it has uh, two ports or two connection ports, one is for funneling the hydrogen, another one is for recirculating the water, and this needs to be pressed down firmly so that those connection points um, are secure so that you don't have any kind of leaks if 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 they're not connected well or pushed down firmly so that the connection points are uh, secure uh, you can actually have a little bit of water dripping off from here so take take our advice make sure you push it down firmly that's how it's stated in the manual uh, and that's how it should be be done so next is gonna put some water in this system and I should show you make hydrogen water. Okay, so first things first, uh, you wanna go ahead and turn the, the hydrogen knob over to hydrogen water. I demonstrated that earlier uh, in the video. And you wanna take the lid off, you take the lid off, and then you wanna add your water. And I'll go ahead and fill it all the way up. All right. You can put your lid back on. All right, so now we actually have the water cube filled up or the water pitcher. And we have the system set to a shoe water. Now what you want to do is push the power button and it will activate the system for producing hydrogen-rich water. And now the system is gonna be producing hydrogen-rich water. It's recirculating this water in here and, and infusing it with hydrogen gas. The system will run for two minutes uh, and it will produce hydrogen-rich water within that two minutes above uh, one PPM. Uh, and uh, within two of these sessions in our testing, uh, this system was able to produce up to 1.3 or 
or above 1.3 ppm. So that's pretty good to be able to saturate uh, 1.5 liters of water in only two to about four, to be able to, yeah, about two to four minutes to be able to get near saturation is pretty impressive. After it's done producing hydrogen-rich water, you can now turn the dial back to hydrogen inhalation and you can push the power button here on the H cube and begin breathing. Uh, this, in and of a nutshell, uh, is the basic operation and demonstration of the VH600 system. Uh, there's nothing much else to it. I believe it's an awesome unit. Um, this is actually a, a level four system. It produces above 600 milliliters per minute. We measured this at 621 milliliters per minute uh, of hydrogen gas, which is phenomenal. Um, it also comes in a very, uh, is not a, or is not a robust, really big system. Uh, it's engineered really well. And as stated before, we've been able to test the hydrogen concentration of this water, uh, within, within two to four minutes above 1.3 PPM. Uh, so it's getting pretty close to saturating the water, 1.5 liters within two to four minutes. Oh, I almost forgot one last thing that I wanted to demonstrate to you was that you can take the pitcher off the water cube base like this after it's done producing hydrogen rich water and you can fill up glasses with it. You actually have a pretty cool lid that's specialized for filling up glasses of water. So then do that and then you can put it right back on the base itself. and you can consume some hydrogen rich water. Also, I wanted to mention that the H cube and the water cube doesn't always have to be connected together. Uh, if you are not using the water cube, you can actually disconnect uh, the, you can disconnect the water cube from the H cube and just carry around the H cube wherever you want it to be. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. I showed you earlier in the video that there is, is a actual um, little latch back here that you can push and it allowed this to pop off just like this. And now this can be carried wherever you want it to be, wherever you want it. And this also can be carried wherever you want it. Uh, and so this is one cool feature about this system. Um, you can keep it as a whole or you can detach it to whenever, uh, whenever, the op whenever it seems that uh, that type of application would be applicable. Uh, from there, I think we're going to go ahead and move into the discounts and the HO of information on this product. All right, so this system retails worldwide for $7,000, but through HU Hub, you can get this system at 20% off, which is a $1,400 discount, which makes this system through HU Hub $5,600, uh, which is a great deal for a system like this. Uh, normally, a legitimate um, dual function hydrogen systems are rather expensive and they are a rare find. Uh, and so uh, we are honored to be able to uh, not only be able to recommend the system or test it and evaluate it for you guys, but to actually provide a means for you to get it um, at, a, at a, a significant discount. Number two, if you want to acquire this system, we will have a link to the actual HU Hub recommendation page for this device. Uh, in the description of this video. And on that recommendation page, we have a contact form. That contact form will allow you to contact us directly, and we will put you into, into direct contact with VH Life, and they will provide a means uh, for you to purchase this system at the HU Hub discounted price. Number three, the last point of information I want to give about for this system is that we're going to be doing a test video demonstrating um, the actual milliliter per minute output of the system and the H2 or the dissolved H2 concentration of the water cube itself. And so be, uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, and other than that, I have no more information to bring to you guys. So catch you next time at the HU Hub.